Hey, welcome back to the Springs Radio Real Estate Show here. I'm Cheryl Garlock with Colorado Front Range Properties. My guest today is Martin Burlingame with Burlingame Insurance. And Martin is really busy these days here right now. And not in a good way. And not in a good way here. But you know, before I start talking with Martin here, I want to tell you something. We're all eager and interested about the situation with the wildfires. I mean, no sooner do we get done with one than others seem to pop up in our state. And they're happening everywhere. I'm not really exactly sure why they're all happening, but must be to some degree, hope Mother Nature, I hope that's the culprit. But nonetheless here, uh, for a lot of the people that are displaced right now here, we're going to be adding a page to our website, springsradiorealestate.com. It's called Home Match. So go to springsradiorealestate.com, click on the Home Match tab. If you need a place to rent uh, or buy, you fill in, the, click on Home Match, there'll be a page down there, I think it's called uh, Need a Home. And then uh, fill in your information there. And then if you happen to be a property owner that has a home that you're selling yourself or you're going to be renting this home out, fill in your information on have a home to rent or sell, whatever it is right there. We really are trying to help people and match them up so it's a sort of a central place so that they can kind of come there and maybe find what might be available. Well, there. rentals are tough right now. Really and they tough. are very, very, very tough. So if you've, got, if you've got a property that you're willing to do either a short-term rental or a long-term rental, I mean short, like three months, six months, a year, you know, put that there. That's what we really want to know. You need any help with that at all, you call me, 719-321-7600, 719-321-7600. Go to springsradiorealestate.com and click on the Home Match tab. Uh, you know, Martin, let's talk a little bit about really coverage and what's going on with sure, our absolutely. fires. You're getting inundated with claims right we now. We are. We've worked uh, the bus. Obviously, I'm with Farmers Insurance, and we had a bus, a uh, catastrophe bus and trailer, and it's still located on Garden of the Gods. And we've been helping a lot of our clients, a high percentage of our clients, uh, with claims as well as loss of uh, uh, use. So basically, rental, housing, and food, and they get debit cards to get going. Oh, that's really great there. I know Farmers is usually the first first insurance carrier on the scene, at least at my experience. That's we were one of the first, if not the first. I don't want to comment in case I'm wrong, but uh, our bus was up there very fast. Uh, they deployed the trailer out of Denver, and the bus came in as well. You know, you, this has got to be a, a, a really frantic time for people when they watch their homes go up in flames and up in smoke, or even if they don't watch it, they just know they've been evacuated, and, and their home is in that area there. You know, what kinds of things should they be thinking about doing um, when it comes to Insurance. What kinds of things would you recommend? Well, for the people, the, the fires happen. So that is that is already done, and you can't go back and correct some of the stuff. One of the biggest issues that most people will have will be on their property inside the house. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that they're supposed to have an inventory or an idea of what they have. Right. Almost nobody has an inventory done, including myself. Ours is from <laughs> six years ago. So there's been some accumulation of additional things in my kids and so on. So one of the recommendations, well, I just finished dealing with a total loss a couple, uh, yesterday with our loss adjusters, our, our uh, large loss uh, adjusters who are phenomenal. They were on site. Um, and this client had pictures of everything in their house, which makes the process a lot easier. It allows them to remember what they're doing. One of the biggest items you're going to have is clothing. Mm -hmm. What do you have? And we seem to forget the cost of clothing. Oh. You know, a pair of jeans, women's shoes being one of the big ones. Yeah. Uh, looking at a closet of women's shoes and what it costs per pair of shoe. You know, the it's expensive. It is. It's huge. I mean, so you've got suits. Um, clothing, shoes, jeans, uh, all that kind of stuff is hard to account for. Mm -hmm. The furniture is a much easier thing because they can have an idea of what the footprint of the house looked like and what was in there. But we recommend you go through and take pictures of everything. Now, you don't hit not every single pair of jeans, but take pictures of your closet so there's an idea of how much was in the quantity. Uh, quantity yeah. Right? I mean, if they see that you've got 75 pair of women's shoes in that area, they have an idea and they can estimate the value. And if they see a couple, you know, of high-end shoes in there, they can figure out what you have. And then upload it to one of the free software companies. You got Google Drive, you got Dropbox, you got Box. Just 
get a free account, load the pictures up so that they're not at your house in case you have a total oh, loss. Oh, you know, you, you brought up a really good point because that's really about backing up your hard drive. It is. And, and what you're really talking about, I do carbonite myself for that very reason because, yeah, I, I'm anal about a lot of things, but one of those things is about backing up material on my computer because my life is on that computer. All my pictures. business is on that computer. And so um, carbonite, you know, you, you want some sort of in the cloud thing. I didn't have to be that one, but anything yeah. that's in There's the cloud. There's tons of them out there. Um, you just find one. A lot of them have free products um, for a certain amount of megabytes or gigabytes of storage is free. And you can get most of your stuff up there. Most everyone's pictures nowadays are digital. Yeah. So you'll have digital pictures up to a certain date. If the house does burn up, you'll lose your digital pictures, but if they're backed up in the cloud, you can reprint them. You need to also have a plan for your heirlooms. I mean, your family pictures, your wedding dresses, uh, the stuff that your grandfather and grandmother gave you, your parents gave, you have an idea of what do you want to evacuate with if you need to get out there. You know, that's a good point. Let's talk a little bit about sure. that evacuation list. I mean, some of the most important things on having on that might be, you know, having your documents. You know what, number one, know what you want to have to take with you, your important documents. But what about having a place for those documents? Yes. Not just the documents, but the photos as well. Sort of a central station, if you will. Well, your problem on pictures is a lot of them are on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's true. So, so you got to go get those. But I mean, you can. I mean, typically you can figure that out relatively quickly. It's your it's your wills, your life insurance policies, uh, your homeowner insurance policies. Now your agent has that stuff and can provide it to you uh, if you need it. But your wills, uh, a lot of those have to be original signatures. So if you have legal documents that you need to have, passports, those need to be centrally located, usually in a safe. Everyone assumes the safes are fireproof. And if the house becomes a total loss, the fireproof say sometimes don't last. Exactly. You know, and um, one other point, because we don't have much time here on this particular topic here, is, is that, you know, making sure that they have the right coverage to begin with. You know, um, having that uh, owner's extended coverage. or the, the extended replacement coverage. The extended yes. replacement. I'm so used to real estate, you know. <laughs> I'm always thinking title insurance. And, but at any rate, yes, the extended replacement coverage. And, and you want to make sure, what is that, like 125%? It depends on the carrier. Uh, every carrier has different amounts. Um, and you have to read your policy and understand what the coverages are. Um, one of the things I noticed in, in the two or three days I worked, the three days I worked at the bus, was that all the policy owners that we had with farmers were, the agents had done a really good job of taking care of their clients and making sure they were protected in this kind of an event. No, that's great. That's great. Because it really is important that picking that right agent that's going to discuss with you all the different elements that you need to be thinking about when you undertake an, an order a new policy. Absolutely. You want to make sure you're protected. Yeah, you absolutely do, because this is, this policy has got your life contained. It's got everything. It's got everything. Hey, you know, we've got more with the Springs Radio Real Estate Show coming up when we come back. Get your pen and papers ready, because you know, it's that time. It's property showcase time coming right on up. We'll be right back.